Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So I have here November's You Are Now Lab in a box from a cart. And I must say before even unboxing this, I was not happy with this particular box. I felt like it lacked uh, like a combination of things that actually went together. I mean, I can see sets with stuff in this box, but overall i was disappointed in this box mccart if you're listening i feel like each month you should uh do a theme so like this month would have been nice to have a lot of fall items next month christmas so forth and so on stick with a theme because the mix matchiness of the box is nice for a beginner you know um and i know essentially these boxes are for beginners but i mean i still feel like those of us that are getting them and like them should still be able to utilize things out of the box so everything is usable so don't get me wrong i just feel like it was mixed match so these glitters i already got in a previous box and i know that from time to time you are going to get repeats because they're going to go through all of their items they have for you um but i kind of liked when you had your boxes where you get a mystery so you either get dip powders you're gonna get acrylics poly gel I like that because I use everything and it's kind of hard now with these quizzes because you're going to stick with one particular item and I just don't feel like I have to resubscribe to get acrylics or dip powders. Still should be a mystery and it still should have a mixture of things or maybe just one of each, an acrylic, a dip powder, and a poly gel. So I've been rambling as I'm showing this, the items in the box, but you guys can see what's going on. It had two poly gels, two gel polishes, and a liner. The poly gels are nice, and I could have done something with them together, but it was just a little too bright for what I wanted to do. Um, the bronzer um, gel polish, which is that glitter rose gold, I have that in a poly gel, so I love that. Um, the blueberry bubble gum was in a previous box as well as a blue jelly. I already have that, but it's a really nice shade. And then the last one was nude pink liner, and I love that one. So these are all of the items that I did receive. This box is $35 a month. You can cancel at any time. I do feel like it is good for the cost, the price. It's very uh, affordable and it, it's helpful for somebody beginning. But Makar, just try to be themed. I think that would work a little better. And I don't mean to sound rude or ungrateful because I'm very grateful with everything that I did receive in the box. I'm going to use the products because Makar is one of my favorite nail brands right now being that i haven't really ventured out and done pretty much anything else um but for the set today i only used nude pink out of that box and i apologize i do like to use the items that came in the box each time i get one because i feel like it just makes sense um but for this set that i wanted to recreate it really didn't work for me to use anything out of the box besides nude pink um, so yeah, I'll come back and use some of the other products. I did also use the poly gel brush because I needed a new one anyways. Uh, so that came right on time. But I'm using light pink, which is still on the cart poly gel. And it's like a jelly pink uh, poly gel that is also good for like a nail bed. And I'm doing the Femi Beauty Lazy Girl Method. And I'm just placing that into my nail tips um, on a, like as a full nail of light pink for each of my nails. So I'm just kind of showing the process here of my Lazy Girl Method. So I normally start with the first bead, um, kind of like I would with the overlay. So I do a two bead method. I put the first bead in, not all the way down the nail. I do pat that into the nail well using 91% alcohol, making sure to touch all of the walls of this nail and also making sure to smooth it out as nicely as I can. I'll go ahead and blend that bead back, the first one back. And then um, I cure all five in the lamp for 30 seconds before applying the cuticle bead. Um, so yeah, I love the two bead method with the Femi Beauty method just because I don't like anything sticky. And I feel like if I didn't do that and I try to put the nail on with all of the poly gel in, it's just going to be a sticky mess that I don't want to deal with. So it takes a little longer doing it the two bead method way. Um, but I do like overall how everything applies. Um, and again, I'm just going to show you me doing the tips of all of the nails. I'll cure that for 30 seconds and then come back for the cuticle beat.
I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, no matter where you are in the world. And I'm so thankful to anyone that actually watches my videos. I appreciate you so much more than I can ever say. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Nail Addict family. And I thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. It means the absolute world to me. Anything you would like to see or like a, a set you'd like to see me recreate or like a theme of a set you'd like me to try, anyone please comment down below and let me know because I am doing, um, I have a playlist for subscriber requests where my subscribers request different sets or colors in the, in the comments and I would dedicate a video to that subscriber for that theme and create a beautiful nail set. Um, but I haven't had one in a while. My last one was April and she is amazing. Like she's always here showing up, being very motivated and supporting to me. And I love her so, so much. Um, from the start that she found my channel, she has just been amazing. And I'm so thankful and so grateful for her more than I can ever say. Um, but yeah, if you, you're just now getting here, welcome. If you're not yet subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for, but I would love it if you would join the family. So before leaving the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also place a lock, like on the video because it does help your girl out a lot. If you guys show me that the hard work I'm putting in is really appreciated, that like is everything. You don't have to do much more than click the like and that would just simply make my day. But I still appreciate and thank anyone that shows up. If you've been subscribed, you guys already know what it is. I love you guys so, so much. There's so many of you out there that are like rooting me on and motivating me and supporting me. And it just means so, so much to me. I'm very thankful for you guys. I'm very grateful for you guys. Today is Thanksgiving and I just would like to wish everyone a very, very, very happy Thanksgiving. Um, and again, I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys. I'm thankful for my family. Um, I'm thankful for my job. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful that I am here today to be able to celebrate this day with my family. And I know we always have great Thanksgivings because we always have some form of family come over and hang out and eat with us for the day. And so I'm just ready to get into those festivities. By the time I would have posted this video, we all of that would be over. But I'm, I know it's going to be an absolute amazing day and I'm looking forward to it. And I hope that everyone out there has a very happy Thanksgiving with those that you love and are thankful for. And again, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So I've been talking this entire video. I don't think I took a break. I'm going to take a break in a minute. But right now what I'm doing is I am applying the second bead. So I put it into the nail well. I'm using my poly gel brush in the 91% alcohol and I'm just smoothing that out and blending it back into the first bead that's already there. Um, and by the cuticle, I try to leave a very thin piece of poly gel there so that when it goes on my nails, I don't get much spillage. Um, almost all the time I get spillage. This one I did really good actually. I only had just a little on a few of my nails, like this thumb, no spillage. But when you're placing it to your nail, you want to make sure your nail is properly prepped. So you want to push back your cuticles, remove any dead skin that's there, rough up the surface of your natural nail, then apply a dehydrator and primer of your choice. Go in with some base coat gel, cure that for 30 seconds, and then you're ready to apply. Now for me, I am going to pop these right back off because they're 3XLs. So I did use my pillow base for this. But I'm going to go ahead and let you continue watching me do the cuticle beads. And I'll be back once it's time to start doing my nail art. I also wanted to jump right in really quick again and just say when you're doing this method, so like this particular uh, poly gel I'm using is a jelly. Um, so with these, you want to make sure you, if you're doing a two bead method, you want to make sure you're smoothing it out very, very, very well before you uh, go in with that second bead. Because I saw a lot of discrepancies in these nails. I felt like I should have did them with an overlay, um, but it was really, really late at night and I definitely wanted to get a video up for today. So this is something I did last night and I felt like the Femi Beauty method would be the easiest way out. Um, again, I love the consistency of this poly gel, but I feel like 
I didn't smooth it enough, so I saw a lot of inconsistencies, but the set came out pretty well overall. So now I'm going in with that liner by the name of Nude Pink, and I'm going to start with my design. So this design I saw on Instagram, and I'm so sad because I normally screenshot them, and I did not, and I could not find it again. And how I got the design and remembered it is because I have like a nail book where I draw like on like nails, and so I drew it out, so therefore I didn't really even need um, the picture, but I wanted to shout out the person that actually created this set because it was so beautiful and I just knew I had to recreate it and it came out amazing. So the rest of my video is going to be pretty sped up just because I am um, like the video was so long. So when I first edited it and kept it like the same speed and everything, it was 39 minutes or 37, something like that. Then I cut a lot of stuff out and then I by the time I cut out as much as I could to keep in as much as I could it was like 27 minutes so then I sped up certain areas it was still like really long so I just decided to speed up a lot of it um, because you can still see what I'm doing so on the middle finger I use that T method that you saw and I'm doing a French in the nude pink and I like this color this color is really pretty they have another gel polish by the name of nude pink it looks nowhere near like this like this is definitely a nude pink the other one is more of a I don't know it's pink but it's super light but I like this one and I like this uh liner uh brush well no I didn't like the liner brush I'm lying I ended up using a nail art brush for this portion just so I wouldn't have to use the liner brush uh because it was just like really thick and it was like glooping off of the uh, brush so I had to switch to my nail liner brush but I do like the the excuse me the poly gel the gel polish itself so on the index I did like a half a fringe on my um, ring finger I did a half a fringe as well but on the other side and now I'm going in with my nail art brush and doing some sweater designs on those half French nails I love how these came out only thing I forgot, guys, I messed up again. I'm going to get my next sweater set right. But this one, I felt like I messed up because I didn't match the background. So the pink area of the fringe, I didn't mat it before I started this, and I should have. So that when I went over it with the clear acrylic, everything was matted and nice. So the background on it is still shiny because I didn't want to go in with matte nail polish and mess anything up. Even though I probably could have went in with a nail art brush and went around. I just didn't want to do all that so I left it as is but they are still gorgeous that's the only thing I can say is absolutely wrong with this so I did that on both my index and my ring finger and I didn't show the ring finger because I was really really out of frame but on my pinky I'm going in with a dotting tool and a nail art brush and creating hearts down the center of this nail this will also act as a sweater nail design as well and then I'll make some lines on the side as well um, and I do the same exact design on my thumb, so I'm not going to show that one either. But each time I finish a design, I sprinkle over it with my clear acrylic, and then I cure that for 30 seconds to hold that design in place. And y'all, I love, 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 love how these nails came out. So now I'm using Bling Bling, another McCart product, and I am creating an outer part of that fringe with it. 
I just like give it a little pop, you know, it really helped bring this nail out a little more. Um, so going forward with my Your Nail Lab in a Box um, videos, I might not use products from that particular box, but I will always make the video go, yo, excuse me, the video just to my cart. So everything used in this video today is from a cart and I will have everything linked down below. Um, and so now on the middle finger, I'm going in with matte top coat. I'm going to leave that wet because I'm going to make a really simple rhinestone placement right down the center. And right in the middle of this now, I decided to use this teddy bear that I got from a cart as well and just decorate around it. And this was my favorite now by far. here's the finished set i just love how cute they are they're so pink like this pink is so freaking cute i love new pink this is such a beautiful pink shade that gold just did something to the nails to bring something extra out i absolutely love how my sweater nails came out besides the fact that the back was shiny so the the lighting is not doing it any justice in person these nails looked absolutely amazing and i wish they weren't so long because <laughs> i would have kept them on they are so freaking cute the simple placement i did on my middle finger to me is to die for i love it i feel like it's very simple and elegant and i like the the touch that the pearl gave that particular rhinestone placement comment down below and let me know what you think of this nail set and if you've made it this far please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and hit your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets I'm thankful for you all. I am grateful for you all. I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving with your family and friends. I just wish you nothing but the best it's for today and forever. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Much love to you all.